not gonna make it on the stove not gonna make it in the oven we're gonna make it in the air fryer now my air fryer is behind me i don't know if you can see it um but uh i got it for my birthday when i turned something and <laughs> <laughs> my turn I turned 49 that's what I got for my 49th birthday at air fryer and it's one of the best gifts ever if you don't have yourself an air fryer then you need to get one if you don't have an air fryer then this probably is not the video for you because I'm gonna make it an air fryer if you do have an air fryer then you know it's one of the the best things ever next next to sliced bread where did that saying come from I don't know anywho we're gonna make chicken fingers now if you watched my show the other day and I'm sorry for the glare, um, the light is shining through the window, or is that the light illuminating for me? I don't know. <laughs> Anywho, so I'm sorry for the glare. But um, if you watch my other show when I made the cheesy um, cheesy broccoli and chicken casserole, or what, what, what did I call it? Cheesy chicken and broccoli casserole. When I made that, I took half the package and used it for that. And then this is the other half of the package. And I think I mentioned I was gonna make chicken fingers and we we're making chicken fingers. So I had the other half, it's not a lot. Cause again, I'm one person. I only eat four ounces of food since my vertical sleeve. Um, yeah, I'm sleeved y'all. As a matter of fact, I got on the scale today. You know, I get sidetracking, I digress, but I got on the scale today and I was 184. And I, cause I was beating myself up the other day because I had gained all this weight over the past two weeks. Well, I gained two pounds but that's all this week but anywho so i'm feeling good and i'm feeling like i deserve some chicken fingers so i got the chicken i got the air fryer um seasoning coating for chicken and this is by um louisiana fish fry products as a matter of fact if you see it you see it i got it from where the fish fry products are um Here's the caloric information, just in case y'all want to talk to me about that or you want to check it out. That's on the back. There are two packets in here, I believe. I believe there's two packets in here, but I'm going to open it up and we're going to find out. I have a bowl for my eggs because you want to egg wash your chicken. I have a bowl for the mix and then I'm going to put it in my air fryer. All right. All right. Let me find my, you know, I'll be find, trying to find my remote control. I need to hang it from my wrist, but then that's kind of corny. But anywho, I'll be right back. Okay, so when I opened the box, I only had one package. I already poured half of it out, but it was one little package in the box. Um, I put half of it, and I may need more, but I don't I don't know. Um, I took one egg, because I don't have that much chicken. So I took one egg, and I scrambled it up. I'm going to... This is how I make sure that everything stays fresh, even though maybe it's just me, but I'm gonna put the little season packet in a Ziploc bag and put it back in the box. And so the next time you wanna use chicken fingers, you can. Now, again, if you're making more, then you'll probably use the whole box. For me, I'm only making a couple because I only eat a couple and back in the box. All right, so, yeah, that's that. I'm gonna rinse off the chicken. <laughs> Um, just because I always rinse my meat. This is a quick rinse. I know you can't see. Sorry about that. You don't really need to see. I'm putting water on chicken. It's not that hard for you. So, water on chicken. Get all the slimy slime mm -hmm. off. Oh. It's something about chicken. All right. I'm not putting any seasoning on this because I don't want to compromise what this is going to taste like. I want to see what it's all about. So I have one, two, not that many, chicken fingers. And you're going to put it in the egg wash. Wash, wash, wash. Put it in the mix. Coat it. And we're done. I need another plate. I need another plate. Um, and you're just gonna repeat that. Coat it in the egg wash, and then put it right into the, the mix. Shake, 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 mix, mix, mix. That's all you do. So I'm gonna show you one last time just in case, just in case it, it was a little confusing, even though I don't believe it is. 
But we're going to do this for all of them. So. This is your egg wash. Put the chicken in the egg wash. Make sure it gets covered. And then it's in the mix. Shake, shake, shake. And that's it. Mix it up. Go and get your fingers a little dirty. It smells good. It smells like it's gonna be flavorful. We gonna find out. I'll come back to you when I'm getting ready to put it in the air fryer. Cause you don't need to watch me do all these. But you see what I did, right? Very simple. You got this. I only use one egg too and half the package. All right. my um, air fryer you can hear it in the background I have it preheating um, because I actually have it already set up behind me um, as soon as it's finished preheating what I'll do is I will actually um, show you how I put it in there and how I spray it okay so my air fryer beat and I'm raring to go I got my little my air fryer sheets you can buy these on Amazon so that you know you can put that right on top of the basket so I'm going to put, see my air fryer sheet in the pan. It's raring to go, it's already preheated. I'm going to put my chicken tenders right on the, right on the sheet. Give them a little space in between each other. I'm hoping I can get all of them in the pan at the same time. I see a little spaces where there's no, no breading what I'll do is I'll take the breading from here and kind of pour it on top of that or sprinkle it on top of those that need a little bit of extra like this, this one right here. But I'm just putting it in the, the air fryer. That's all, you just put it in there. I try not to put it on the sides. Here's one that needs some extra, some extra love, if you will. Okay, they're in the air fryer. It's a little hot, so as you can see, chicken fingers in the air fryer. It doesn't call for this, but because I'm an air fryer cooker, I know you got to spray everything. So I'm going to spray it with a little Pam. This is the regular Pam. And I'm going to put it in the air fryer. It's already set to 15 minutes, but I, I think I said I was going to put it in there for 12. So when it hits six minutes, then I will flip them over. Um, you know, I was going, everybody wants to pair their chicken fingers with something. Normally it's french fries, but again, not the best or the healthiest option. So I found these, and so I'm gonna try these too. I'm gonna pair it with these veggie fries. Um, there's zucchini, garlic, and Parmesan. Sounds good. Um, so there's a little bonus. Um, I was looking at the directions and guess what it has on the side, y'all? Air fryer directions. So when I finish making these, I'm going to make these. We're going to have chicken fingers and not we, me. I'm going to have chicken fingers and veggie fries. This is lunch today, made by Green Giant. So it's one full serving of vegetables. It, gives, it won't give the illusion of french fries, but it'll make me feel like I'm eating two different things. So veggie fries um yeah four grams of protein in the serving plus you're eating chicken so there you go um i'll come back to you once the chicken fingers are ready just to show you what you know what we did um because you already know how to flip them over so just know that i'm flipping it over when it hits six minutes then i'm gonna cook it again for another six minutes and we're gonna be good to go we're gonna have chicken fingers they're gonna be bariatric friendly they were made in the air fryer they weren't fried I let you know how the seasoning was. So I have to let you know that after I eat them. But they smell good. They look good. Did I spray it? I felt like I sprayed it. If I didn't, spray your chicken tenders. I think I sprayed it. I showed you the spray. So I'm hoping I'm not crazy. Because you know, when you get old, you be remember forgetting just that quick. Like, did I spray it? But here you go. Pam, 
easy peasy lemon squeezy you know because i'd like to recap just in case you came in in the middle of the video or whatever what have you um air fryer chicken seasoning pan spray chicken and i used one egg because i only used half the package and half the package that's it and i'm making veggie fries i'm gonna make them in the air fryer though so i gotta wait till i finish the chicken all right y'all i'm gonna talk to you in a bit i'm gonna show you what they look like when they come out the oven all right i know i talk a lot it's okay leave a comment tell me what you what you um think about the video tell me what you'd like to see me make you want me to see me make something let me know all right try them out i have the um zucchini fries in the air fryer right now so after i pair them together i'll take a nice little picture for you and then i'm gonna tear it up <laughs> again air fried chicken fingers easy piece and then squeezy no more than um five minute prep um 15 minutes cooking or 12 and um because as you can see they came out really nice golden brown don't forget to spray them that's i think that's important I'm spraying with your cooking oil. It doesn't say that on the directions, but that's just me being an air fryer cook, knowing that you know if you want it to be golden brown, you gotta add a little oil to it. But that looks good. I can't wait to try it and tell you how it turned out. All right, talk to y'all later. Thanks for joining me. I appreciate you. Please make sure to subscribe. Please and thank you. And wear a mask. Be good humans, y'all. <laughs> I was like, did I say everything? I said it all. All right, bye-bye.